the last set of notes that we're going to cover have to deal with solar noon and the horizon. Please write the words solar noon on the top flap and horizon on the bottom flap. Please flip up the flap where you wrote the term solar noon. You're going to write the explanation about solar noon on the notebook paper underneath the flap. Solar noon occurs when the sun is at its highest point in the sky and produces the shortest shadows. What this means is that the sun is, is right above a certain point and the shadows that it's producing are the shortest the shadows are going to be all day. It's important to know that this particular time, solar noon, does not have to happen at 12 p.m. each day. It occurs at different points in time every day. Now we're going to draw a picture of solar noon. You're going to keep the flap still flipped up and you're going to draw the picture on that flap. Right? You're going to have the picture on the flap and then the notes are going to be where you just wrote them on the notebook paper. So let's start drawing our picture. The first thing you'll need is some grass. The next thing you'll need is your tree. Don't make fun of my tree. And the final thing you're going to need for right now is your sun. So I'm going to put the sun way up here. Okay. So when you do this, your sun's right above that point. When the sun's going beating down on that tree, it's going to produce a shadow, but the shadow is going to be very, very small. So if you look on the bottom where I'm drawing it right now, I know it's kind of hard to see. I drew my shadow right here. This is at solar noon because it, the sun's the highest in the sky and it produces a very small shadow. I outlined the shadow for you. So now you're going to close that flap for solar noon and now you're going to flip down the flap for horizon. You're going to write the information for horizon on the notebook paper. A horizon is an imaginary line where the earth meets the sky. When you first looked at the presentation for Solar Noon and Horizon, I put a picture up there that shows the horizon in real life. So again, the same thing as before, you're going to draw a picture on the flaps. You're going to have your notes and then your picture. So your horizon is going to look something like this. I'm going to draw the ocean. Next, I'm going to draw the sun. I'm trying to say it's like the sun is setting or rising. It looks like there's this line that's there where the sun and the ocean meet. And it's right here. That's what your horizon is. Sometimes when we look out far, far away from where we're standing, whether it be a beach or um, on a, you know, in a grass field or something, you can look out on the horizon. It looks like there's a line there, but there isn't. This information is going to help you finish your lab as well as help you answer the questions on pages 5, 7, and also the lab on page 9.